Hello everyone. Uh, this is Yayoi Komori, and thank you for seeing again. I'm recently very encouraged because that every world of the people start to see my videos. Initially, I was so nervous whether the people accept my ideas, but gradually they give me ideas, your wonderful ideas, I'm willing to take into my videos. So, I really um, show would like to show my deep appreciation to all of you. So today I'd like to tell you how to enjoy Japanese summer. Today is the weather is so good. I really enjoy uh, summer and if you have a chance to come to Japan, I would like to you know, know how we enjoy it. And if you don't have any chance to come to Japan, I really would like you to know how we enjoy in the summer. So today's theme is the way to enjoy summer. The first is event. We are, I don't know how you think Japanese are, but we are not that modest. We are, you know, really love to enjoy night. So the typical event is fireworks in the night. And Every weekend, you can go fireworks at anywhere in Japan. How to enjoy? Go to website. There's a many website in order to tell where and when the festivals are are going to holding. Now I found the right one. You can see um, at the top of the Japan and the end of the Japan. You can see that anywhere you are, you can find the right Hanabi fireworks festivals. And surprisingly, the whole festival has a sponsor. Uh, the sponsor is uh, the government and the companies. Uh, so the visitors don't need to pay any money to enjoy that. It's totally free. So if you live in that, you know, if you live in, I'm sorry. Oh, I checked that the East Side Japanese festivals, and this picture show the different day, different place, festival place. So choose where you'd like to go. And at once, one night, we hit at least thousands fireworks. If it's a famous fireworks festival, in a one night we hit 10,000 fireworks. It's amazing. Um, the last night, last summer, I was crying because of it's so beautiful. So if you have a chance, I definitely recommend you to go to the fireworks festival in Japan. We really love this festivals, and I heard that because any any other country, any other country in the world, it's hardly to find enjoying such much fireworks. I heard this is because the materials of the fireworks could easily be a bomb. You know, the bomb is very dangerous things. But in Japan, we keep the fireworks as a very, very peaceful way so nobody will doubt that the fireworks gonna be a bomb. So it's also show the world that we are so peaceful, peaceful countries. And if you have never ever seen the fireworks, I recommend you to go to the website. Here and you can see the Japanese castles and the fireworks. It's very uh, beautiful pictures. There's a, also the Hanabi Festival, uh, seaside Hanabi festivals at the Kobe, at the Yokohama, any port city. They also have uh, ocean views and uh, fireworks views. I really love. If you go there, uh, you, you're gonna buy a beer, the cookies, and the potato chips, and just enjoy it. And that's all. And the next one is food. Not only the event, we also enjoy the Japan by food. The very, very typical Japanese food is 
noodle, cool noodle. Yes, as China, as other Southeast Asia, we Japanese really love the noodle. And especially in summer, we enjoy it to eat so many. It's a very, very thin and、um, white noodle today I bring for you. Like this, you know? It's like this. It's a very, very, you know, thin. Noodle, and there is a soy base soup, and inside we put the ice. It's so cool. Let me try it.、Mm. It's really tasty. This is some、um, dry. If you want to boil it, it's like dried like this. It's like, um, how to say, pasta, but it's so, so, so thin, like you can see here. And two minutes boil, and afterwards you can eat it. And we don't just eat at home, we also enjoy this salmon with the game, like this. You put, we put the salmon inside the bamboo, and inside the bamboo, we also run the water. And on Top of the bamboo, that someone put the noodle inside, and this this bamboo is cut cut horizontally, and people can take the noodle by chopsticks. So the water slide is is like a water slide. Water goes down, and inside there's a salmon, and we try to take it. Oh, I get it, I get it, and we put, and everyone has a noodle soup on on his left. On her left, and we try to take. Oh, oh, there is, there is. And really love, we really love this game. If you failed, you can't eat that. And you know, the point is how to get the how to get the upstream. You know, if you go to downstream, you can hardly get the salmon. So this is a very typical Japanese game. The next one is oh, cooking. Boil two minutes this、uh, noodle. And add a tiny ginger,、um, ginger, and soy-based cool soup. If you come to Japan, you can easily find soy-based cool soup, and you just need to add ice and water, and that's all. And next one is the next one is also the event. Not only a fireworks, there's a many event in Japan summer. Next one is summer festivals. I'm sorry, I don't have any pictures or website. But in Japan, I'm sorry. In every areas of the city, any tiny, tiny city, there's festivals, and there, people are wearing summer style kimono. Today I bring for you. It's you can. Wear in a minute, but it's like this, you know. And put this way and this way. You can find that everywhere the women are wearing this kimono at the summer festivals, even at the, you know, even at the fireworks. Uh, Japanese, uh, also the youngers are really people very、uh, love to wear this summer. Uh, clothes, and、uh, every of Japanese women have、uh, at least one、um, kimono, and this is called yukata. It's a summertime yukata. All the time is also end up. And last, I would like to show you the food game. Is watermelon hitting game. We also enjoy the summer with this hitting game, hiding their eyes and try to hit the watermelon. This is also the typical Japanese youngers game. So today, the time is also end up. I really would like you to come Japan once and enjoy Japanese summer. Bye, very cheap. See you.